Hi guys my name is Charles, and in this video I'm going to show you the best headphones under $100. Headphones are more than a luxury, they have become almost a necessity. Not only do they let you listen to your favorite music privately and on the go, but they also keep you connected during work calls, Zoom meetings, studio sessions, and more. Headphones are an essential part of everyday life for avid audiobook listeners, podcasters, beat makers, and workout playlist enthusiasts. While expensive models can deliver incredible sound, you don't need to break the bank to get the isolation and audio fidelity you crave, so long as you've identified your priorities. Whether you're looking for well-rounded sound, wireless connectivity, or built-in call features, this video can help you. Below are the links to the headphones I'll be demonstrating in the video. So without further ado let's get started. The Ath M40X is a great pair of cans for those looking for an affordable option for studio work. Jing, or casual listeners who prioritize fidelity. Large and in charge, these cans feature 40mm drivers in well-padded cups, which help reinforce low-end and extend transients around an accurate mid-range, supporting a neutral but energetic sound. Each pair comes with two detachable cables, one coiled and one straight, that terminate in a 3.5mm connector with a 6.3mm screw-on adapter for use with audio interfaces, mixers, AV receivers, and headphone amplifiers. The sensitivity makes these perfect for any mobile or desktop device, however, regardless of power. The build is sturdy yet flexible, with 90-degree swivel ear cups and collapsible hinges for increased portability. The M40XS are designed with sound in mind and do not include special features like active noise cancellation, wireless connectivity or a built-in microphone. They are not well suited for those looking for a super compact, lightweight option, but they will be your best friend if you're looking for something that excels when it comes to physical durability and sonic integrity. If you're looking for a pair of headphones with Bluetooth and any other additional fancy features, go for the Q30s. They have managed to pack in many of the draws a premium pair has but at a fraction of the price. Not only are they ANC equipped, but they also have three modes to choose from, transport, which reduces airplane engine noise, outdoor, which minimizes traffic sounds and wind, and indoor, which silences typing, chatting, and other bothersome acoustic annoyances, or there's a transparency mode if situational awareness is a must. The 40mm drivers and custom EC feature contribute to a mix of clarity and kick. Bluetooth AUK and SBC codecs assure maximum compatibility to iOS and Android devices, though there's no improved apps fidelity for the Google OS users. A 40-hour battery life, 60 hours with ANC turned off, will keep you connected for days at a time, and fast charging means you can get up to 4 hours of renewed life from just 5 minutes on the charger. Not one but two built-in microphones keep calls clear, and multi-point pairing allows you to connect multiple smart devices at the same for easy switching from your phone's playlist to your computer's Zoom meeting. The Sony MDR7506 headphones are an industry standard that won't break the bank. Used in professional studios for decades, these cans feature 40 meters drivers, neodymium magnets, and a frequency response of 10 Hz 20 kHz. Sound quality is accurate with support across all frequencies, so vocals, instruments, and effects come through clearly. With the goal of producing a neutral sound profile, this pair doesn't add or emphasize any particular frequency. Bass on Monster with Canny, Jay-Z, and Nicki Minaj is clean and present without being overpowering. Mid-range vocals on Suzanne Vega's Tom's Diner are crisp, with a slight lift above backing. Effects on design-heavy podcasts like Radiolab across various ranges are detailed. You're able to perceive subtle reverb effects, high-frequency drones, and backing environment beds. I, personally, use this very pair, the very pair shown above, to mix and master audio for theatrical design, audio dramas, and podcasts. The ear cups are very comfortable and suitable for long work sessions, and the closed ear design gently reduces background noise without altering your mix bleeding too much. After a few years of use, you may need to replace the ear pads, but ordering new covers is quick and easy. In fact, you might want to grab new pads right away if you want to increase passive noise cancellation. This pair comes with a coiled 9.8-foot cable ending and a 3.5mm gold-plated plug for a reliable connection. Should you want to connect to an interface or amp, a threaded 6.3mm adapter is included, along with a carrying case. The cable is long but not unruly, though it's certainly too long to use casually on a commute. The build is mostly plastic, which can feel slightly flimsy, but I still use the same pair I purchased six years ago. 
We all know the pain of pushing through our morning commute in silence because our headphones died halfway there, or, even worse, overnight. If you are an all-day listener, or, like me, often forget to recharge in a timely manner, the Jabra Elite 45 is likely the best option for an affordable pair of headphones. The 40mm drivers, wrapped in a compact, comfortable cushion, can get up to 50 hours of battery life from just one charge, and, when you inevitably need a boost, a 15-minute quick charge can provide up to 5 hours of life. You can also keep listening, while your headphones charge via USB. On top of the impressive battery, you also get access to the Jabra My Sound app, which allows you to customize EC or choose from available presets. Two built-in microphones can support clear phone calls and connect you to voice assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant, which you can trigger by toggling an onboard button. Most users report a super comfortable fit and feel, though some listeners simply don't like on-ear models across the board and prefer the cups to surround the ear, if that's your style, scroll back up to the Soundcur by Anchor Life Q30. These open-back headphones are a great option for serious listeners who prioritize a stellar sound profile over portability. A purpose-built pair, the SHP 9500s don't concern themselves with built-in microphones, Bluetooth, EC presets, or compatible apps. Instead, they focus on transportive sound with large, angled 50mm neodymium drivers that deliver an impressive 12Hz 35kHz frequency response and a spacious sound stitch. The open-back design allows for improved imaging, spreading a track out in a way that enhances your ability to properly mix and master, or just appreciate, music. The removable cable removes a point of failure, adding value to your investment. And roomy, breathable ear cushions plus a padded ergonomic headband mean your listening sessions can span more albums comfortably. Just remember, if you can hear the outside world, the outside world can likely hear you. Open back headphones aren't a great option for recording music or dialogue because the sound bleed is likely to be picked up by nearby microphones. But if you have a serene sanctuary available and invest in a great DAC amp or DAP, the SHP 9500 can transform that airiness and help you become one with the music. These headphones are an affordable entry into the audiophile realm and the precision of directional sounds adds authenticity and authority to gaming as well, though you'll need to add a standalone streaming mic. The Platin 2 from Urbaniers is an excellent option if you don't want to pay more than $65 for a stylish, sleek pair of headphones. I've used these headphones as a backup when I forgot to charge my everyday pair and found the fit to be comfortable and the audio quality to be solid. The bass might not blow you away and the high end isn't always crystal clear, but overall, frequencies across the spectrum are supported. 30 hours of battery life will keep you in business for at least a few days, and these things hold a charge, even when listening at a high volume. The single onboard control knob can take a second to get the hang of, but once you do, you'll be able to adjust volume, play pause, skip songs, and answer phone calls. Pressing down on this knob will also turn the headphones on or off with a long press, triggering Bluetooth pairing mode. If you're trying to connect to a non-Bluetooth equipped player, like an airplane screen or handheld gaming device, you can use the included 3.5mm audio cable. I appreciate you all guys watching this video, and I hope you've already made a decision about your headphones. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to assist you.